Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com, and today I thought I would show you how you can take any digital element from the Silhouette Shop and make it a print and cut, uh, even though it doesn't have the P right here. And I, the one we're going to use is this Tis the Season to Be Jolly tag. I'd like to print out several of these to use for cards. So what I like to do so that I can copy it exactly is take a screenshot of it and I have a Mac so for me I do control shift 4 and I can make a screenshot I believe for you Windows users you have to use print screen and then print it into or you hit print screen and then go into Microsoft Paint or Microsoft Word right click hit paste and it'll show up but for my for me I just did a screenshot it just showed up right here and what I'm going to do is bring that screenshot in to my project so here it is. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that I can see it. Okay, this is what we're shooting for. However, when we click on this tag, this is how it comes in. It doesn't look anything like that. So what I like to do, first thing we always do is click on it, right click, ungroup. Okay, and it looks like they didn't use this outer edge. So that's one piece we can just click on and delete. For this piece, they have it in green. So we're going to hit our fill, fill color window. We're going to click on the eyedropper. We're going to pick the green from our sample here. OK, so we got that piece. We can move that out of the way. And then it looks like this piece is cream colored. So let's select this piece. Oops. Again, we're going to select the eyedropper, grab this cream color, and we've got that piece. Okay, this frame looks like it's outlined in green. So we'll grab the eyedropper. I'll just select the green from here. So we've got that piece. Now the words, we're going to click on the tis the, grab the eyedropper, let's find a nice sample of the red. Oh, it looks a little pinkish to me. Let's try it again. Then we're going to grab the season, eyedropper, grab this brown. Then we're going to grab snowflake, eyedropper, gray, snowflake, it's selected already, gray, snowflake, gray, and the to be jolly, eyedropper, grab this brown. Okay, so now when we pull all these pieces back down, we have made our tag look pretty much identical to the Silhouette Store uh, pick colors that Echo Park made this tag. Still not real happy with this red. I want to see if I can get it kind of as you work your way around. You'll see the color kind of changes just depending. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so we don't need our sample anymore. And I like to select the whole thing. If this is going to be a front and cut, select the whole thing. Select on line color and say no line color. And while it was still all selected, let's right click and group. And I want to make this tag a little smaller. Like I said, I want to be able to use it on cards. Uh, let's, using our grid here, that's about three and a half inches. Maybe a little bit smaller.
There we go. And then what I would do is go to my page window, use printer settings, registration marks, show registration marks, and then go to the replicate window and fill page. Oops, you have to select the item first. Fill page. So it looks like that's all they think I can get on here, but I think I can get more. Let's see. Let's select those. Let's duplicate right. All right, it looks like this one is not going to work because it's in the hash mark. But I can easily get all of these on there. And I will send these to the silhouette and print and cut, and I will have four or five, what do we have here? Four and three, we have seven tags for cards. Anyway, I hope this gave you some ideas. Like I said, if you don't have, if it's a, if you like the way it looks and you want to replicate it, just make a picture of it. Bring it in on your mat so you can steal the colors off of it and fill your shape accordingly. Hope this helped. Thanks.